What's up guys? It's your boy Liffy here. Um, I wanted to come and make a Swamps of Courses DLC review or guide or update uh, for Remnant from the Ashes. So, um, as some people might know, it was free on Epic Game Store this past week here in August uh, 2020. And with that, there was a lot of influx of people, you know, that would come over on like the, my Twitch channel and stuff like that. Because um, I've had the game ever since release, and so I have it on Steam. So there was a lot of questions surrounding it, right? Like, is this game good? What, you know, what's the end game like? Can I play with people on Steam? And the answer to all those questions is mostly yes, and, and it's good, right? Um, but then there's uh, a select few questions like debating the Swamps of Courses DLC, which is the first DLC for Remnant from the Ashes. The second DLC... Um, just came out. It's subject 2923. Uh, it literally came out on August 20th, which is, which is yesterday for me. Um, and I'll do I'll do a whole nother video on that one. Uh, but that that's a good one, right? Um, lo long story short, TLDR on that. They're both ten bucks. Um, and the new one, subject subject 2923, definitely outweighs uh, Swamps of Courses. But I want to focus on Swamps of Courses real quick. Um, and this DLC because for me okay if you haven't played this game in a long time right uh, or you're brand new to it I would recommend grabbing it because it adds to your entire experience as a whole all right it's only ten dollars USD um, which I think is very reasonable for like a DLC or an update ten bucks think about it in terms of ten dollars how many hours hours are you gonna get out of it <clears throat> Excuse me, how many hours are you going to get out of it, right? Um, and for me, if I get 10 hours out of 10 bucks, I'm okay with it. I know I know that, that everybody's completely different. I completely understand, you know, um, some people want a lot more. But 10 bucks added on to the base game, not a bad deal. Um, so what's up on the screen right now, one of the biggest things that came with it is survival mode. Um, survival mode is kind of like a, a roguelite experience. You start with nothing. You have RNG drops, basically pickups in the in the in the map in the zone, um, and you have the the vendors at the start. Here, I'll just show you. We'll just go in here. <clears throat> you got vendors at the start, right? That'll have uh, kind of RNG pickups, right? You start with a little bit of scrap, a thousand scrap, um, and you just make your build as you go through. You just make your build as you go through. Um, machine pistol. See, that's actually in the second DLC, and it, but it's in here. So at the time of this review, it's a little bit different. Right? So you just grab some of this stuff. Now, what you see at the top left of the screen here... <clears throat> I'm not actually going to do a whole run, but I'll jump in here. Uh, the zero is the number of bosses that you've killed. So this is a fresh run, ob obviously zero. It puts you to a procedurally generated environment. Um, so you don't know what boss, like progression or sequence you're gonna get which is kind of nice right like it's refreshing um and these runs can last a long time if you're decent at it too right um like i think i did a run got up to 10 bosses i mean i'm a couple hours in like it takes a long time so if you think about your 10 bucks and that was one run uh you know a couple hours crazy 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 worth the money so if you like rogue light experiences um in different like playthroughs each and every time you can't make the same build because your rng is just not going to let you um you will like this you will you enjoy this experience right um so the zero to get back onto that zero at the top left is the number of bosses you killed right it's at zero the one where it has the timer counting down is the enemy level so as you can see there's a timer and they're they're going to get progressively harder yada 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 uh the one under it in the middle is my level so as i kill enemies that's gonna level up i'm not gonna do all that right this second uh for the sake of the video the 150 is the scrap um so that's what you you know as you're killing enemies and picking up scrap you're gonna take it back to the hub that we were just at on the screen and you're gonna buy some updates and some uh gear right and those are gonna be refreshed so you can make your build as you go you know um if you're really trying to get deep into it depending on which zone you go into right um kind of depicts your build like, maybe I'm in Yisha, maybe I want to bring the sniper and, uh, you know, start getting headshots. Whereas, headshots on, like, Rom might be a little bit more difficult, you know, because <clears throat> they got armor on their head. Man, I had, like, this coffee and it messed up my throat. Really weird feeling. Who's next? Um, 
So anyways, yeah, so you can see the one in the middle um, leveling up progressively. You grab trait books. This is essentially like your level. You get So you get one trait. Um, I just picked that one up. Those are all random. Um, and they'll stack, right? So that'll get you up to level 20 of that particular trait if you find 20 of them. So Swamps of Courses, TLDR. There's some new bosses. Um, <laughs> Jesus, man. Chill, bro. I'm trying to talk. Um, TLDR, there's so, so there's some new bosses. Um, side dungeons, traits, gear, trinket, weapons, armor, everything, right? That the game would want you to have um, in the Swamps of Courses zone. So the main way to, to access that outside of survival mode is to play adventure mode. Adventure mode is available to everyone with the base game. However, Swamps of Courses, if you have the DLC and you roll that zone... Um, the courses zone you will get those extra side dungeons and it and that world the courses world feels much larger and bigger and more explorable all right and so i say it's recommended if you know you're either a new player or a returning player from a long time because they've made so many updates and patches um and changes to gear in general that outside of just the dlc itself there's other ex things to experience and updates and changes. So um, when you combine everything together, it's worth it. Um, however, there is a lot of backlash and a lot of people don't like the update. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm kind of trying to speak for what I've been told, people, you know, from like Twitch and uh, you know talking to people over on Twitch and Discord and stuff like that um, within my community. And that's it's kind of hit or miss right because people have really high expectations of like story and things like that but remnant's really not about that it's really not about that um and if you think of like the identity of the game um you might be able to appreciate the dlc a bit more and for 10 us dollars now i know the price varies across the world so you need to do your own um you know analysis of that if you will um i think it's worth it uh, on the flip side, I have experienced the new DLC, Subject 29 and 23, and I will say that that is also $10, and it blows Swamps of Courses out of the water, alright? In the sense of price per dollar or value per dollar, it blows it out of the water. Um, so I think that's kind of weird. I would expect Swamps of Courses to maybe drop like 5 bucks, or if anything, I probably would have paid 20 for the... Um, subject 29 23 so i think that's a very good value at ten dollars um but at the end of the day i would still have it i would still buy it all um you know i i still think it's totally worth it time spent out of it but yeah if you have any questions feel free to ask hit me up uh stream daily over on twitch lify twitch.tv backslash lify you can find me there also the discord i'll leave the link of that below uh, but yeah just let me know your thoughts and opinions on on what you like what you don't like uh, what you wanted to see um, and uh, yeah I appreciate it thank you everyone we'll see you guys later peace peace peace